to my viewers and subscribers a pleasant good afternoon to you and welcome to another video my name is belly one engineering in today's video i am going to be concluding my plan reading series so has to give you a recap on what we have covered so far we have looked at the different line types and how to interpret them we have looked at abbreviations and acronyms and what they mean we have looked at the side plan the floor plan the section the elevation the foundation plan the roof and roof framing plan the reinforced concrete stab plan and how to interpret those drawings now in today's video i am going to be concluding my plan reading series by looking at the electrical and plumbing layout so don't go away i will be with you momentarily to conclude this presentation thank you welcome to the electrical and plumbing plan presentation but before I get into the actual presentation, I am going to be giving you a summary of what the electrical and plumbing plan is about. The electrical and plumbing plan is done to show the location or the placement of the electrical fixtures as well as the placement for your drainage system for the kitchen and the bathroom. So to begin the presentation, I am going to be dealing with the electrical layout first. And when that is concluded, I am going to be looking at the drainage layout afterwards. But to properly understand the electrical fixtures, you must be familiar with the electrical symbol. So to properly understand the electrical symbols, I am going to take you through the electrical legend. Now, the electrical legend, as you can see here, this is the electrical legend. And as you can see, we have a column for symbols and a column for descriptions so you can see here this is your wall plug this is the symbol for your wall plug and this is a symbol for your 110 duplex outlet your 220 duplex outlet your security lighting your wall lamp your switches whether it be one-way switch or two-way switch and this is the symbol for your electrical panel, your GPS meter, your incandescent ceiling lights, and your incandescent ceiling lights and ceiling fan. Now, I must point out to you that some of these fixtures varies throughout different plan sets. Different architects or engineer or draft person use different symbols to showcase some of these electrical symbols so i am going to be taking you through the reading of the actual electrical plan so as to save time i am going to be dealing with just a few of the spaces of this bedroom so here we have a switch and this switch turn on this incandescent lights and your ceiling fan so it's just to show here that this switch you see the line here this 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 curly broken line is just showing that this switch turn on this ceiling light and then we have our wall plugs which is placed here 
we have another wall plug that is placed here and as you can see this is our panel box this is where we the the circuit breaker can be found and also you can see the electrical layouts or the electrical fixtures for your burglar light and this shows that this switch here turn on all the electrical lights right around the perimeter of the building and so that is pretty much what the electrical plan is is just to show the location or placement of the electrical fixtures as i've mentioned to you earlier so there's nothing particularly difficult in reading the electrical plan you just have to look where you have your switch and what your switch turn on you just have to look where you have your wall plug and your incandescent ceiling light so that pretty much concludes the electrical reading so i'm going to be looking at the drainage layout the plumbing layout plan is basically showing the placement or the location for your wastewater drainage system for your kitchen your bathroom and your laundry so to have a better understanding of how to read the plumbing plan just as i did with the electrical layout plan by taking you through the electrical legend i am going to be doing the same by taking you through the plumbing legend so has to give you a better understanding so as you can see here now this is the plumbing legend and in one column we have the symbols and in the column to the left to the right of that we have the description so this square here is the representation for the manual or image as you might see it on the plan and this smaller square here is for the trap gully basin or tgb and this rectangle here is for the grease trap or gt and this broken line here is for the 100 millimeter four inches in diameter pvc sewer pipe at a slope at one in 20 and this solid line here is for the 75 millimeter or three inches in diameter pvc wastewater pipe at a slope of one in 20. so let me give you what is meant by one in 20. one in 20 means that for every 20 feet the fall of that wastewater pipe is going to be one inch so it, if if it is 40 feet it is going to be two inches if it is 60 feet it's going to be three inches and so on so that is how you interpret the gradient for your wastewater pipe now that i've taken you through the plumbing legend i'm going to be looking at the wastewater drainage system for this floor plan here and i'm going to be starting out with this bathroom here and as you can see this bathroom has a layout of a double face basin a water closet or toilet as it is better known and it also has a bath now the wastewater from the face basin is linked to the wastewater drainage system for the bath with a three inches pvc pipe and it is linked to the gully basin on the outside the water closet the wastewater from the water closet or the toilet is linked to the manhole on the outside with a four inches drainage 
PVC pipe. So now that we have taken care of the bathroom, we can move over to the kitchen. And as you can see, this is a double kitchen sink and the wastewater from the double kitchen sink is linked with a PVC drain pipe consisting of three inches to the grease trap on the outside. And as we move through the floor plan, we can see that there is another bathroom here and a similar principle is applied. So I don't have to go over that. And as we move to the back of the building, we can see that there is a laundry and the wastewater from that laundry is linked to the gully basin on the outside. Now, as you can see on the outside, you see that the wastewater that goes into your gully basin, it also goes to another gully basin at a gradient of 1 in 20 and it goes to another gully basin on the right here and it is eventually lead to a soak away pit right and a similar thing with the manhole the drainage the drainage water from your manhole it links to another manual here and it goes all the way through to another manu manual here and then it goes to what is known as a septic tank and then to the absorption pit now not every area utilizes a absorption pit an absorption pit some some area and based on the level of the water table it is not feasible to use an absorption pit. So in that instance, we use a reed bed or a tile feed. So that pretty much show, tells you what the drainage system is about. Is just having your wastewater taken away from the inside of the building onto the outside into the respective drainage system. So to have a better understanding of the drainage system and how it is constructed or, or how it is to be constructed, we can turn to our drainage sheet. And this is our plumbing drainage sheet. As you can see, section through the TGB, section through the gully basin, text section through the grease trap and so on. So you must carefully go through your plumbing detail so has to know how to construct your manual, your gully basin, your grease trap and your absorption pit and your soak away pit. So that pretty much sums up the electrical and plumbing layout it is not very difficult to understand it is a very easy exercise to understand all you have to do is to pay attention to the electrical legend and the plumbing legend to know what the symbols represent as it is showcasing on the floor plan so if you like this video i want you to share this video please remember to comment and if you're new here Please remember to subscribe and I will see you in another video. Thank you. And also I must point out that this is the conclusion of my plan reading series. And next week I'm going to be talking to you about a different topic. I do not know what that topic is going to be as yet, but nonetheless, I know it is going to be interesting as it is for the previous videos so thank you until i see you again keep safe and be good thanks